How's it going guys? Welcome back to the toy table. It is Monday, so it is time for another Micro Machine Monday. S the original scale miniatures. Micro Machines. Um, if you haven't watched the first uh, Micro Machine Monday, I started by displaying uh, uh, 10 or 11 of my Micro Machines out of my Micro Machine case. This is one of my more prized possessions. If this were to go to missing from my house, then I'd be um, ultimately quite disappointed. Uh, yeah, like, the case was awesome. It, it never really locked, I don't think, so I always had to have tape on there. It, it did lock, I thought. Maybe the lock broke. Either way, it, it had all the storage for several, several, several micro machines. In the first video, I went through these. And this one, I'm going to go through this one, this row, and maybe some planes. And let's have a look. So yeah, Micro Machines were definitely a big part of my childhood. They're just so cool and really, really detailed. Uh, this looks like a Ford Thunderbird. One thing they didn't do was, I guess, the label or um, the bottoms. Of them like Hot Wheels did, which would be really, really nice. But, uh, they did not. So this one here looks like a, like a Judge car. I must really, really thank Hot Wheels uh, racer Mike for sending up uh, a car. He said it's in the mail and we're eagerly waiting and we can't wait to open up with you guys. So there we go. Big muscle, big engine. This actually, I think, believe it or not, was one of the first, first Micro Machines we actually got. Um, and it was from one of the city sets. The little city sets that unfolded and had two or three um, things, two or three buildings on them. Where all of those went, who knows, but I'm so glad I kept my cars. We got another muscle car here. I should leave them out here, because... The last one I offered up. Which one was your favorite? Out of the ones I'm displaying. Um, and be, to, be, to, be sure to tune in to the toy table because Micro Machine Races will be coming up. Just gotta get clear. A few other things cleared up. We got a, looks like a Buick uh, Regal of some sort or a LeSaver from the 80s with that steep back there. And it's a racer, and it's number nine. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. Now we're getting into some, either like a 57 Chevy, or one of the Cadillacs with the, the big large wings on the back. Again, just brings back memories. They roll. Not quite as well as the uh, Cars 3 Minis that came out. And when I first saw those car three minis, I was all over those. Searching the dollar stores everywhere for those. Got another uh, split roof there. Either a Firebird or a Trans Am. Trying to play off some Hot Wheels flames there. We got a scoop. Next up. And this is definitely a pure 80s Corvette. Lipstick red, and it looks like it has the lights that would pop up on the other side, and then the uh, Corvette lights in the back there. That was, was one of my favorites. Now, oh, you're in luck. So, this one was unlike any other micro machines, and right when you thought these were small, we're talking like finger small, you know. Or like a guitar did and broke's bowling pin small. Check out his racing channel. But this one, it opens up and it gets even smaller. I did have quite a few of these ones, but this one seems to be the only one that uh, I still have that opens up like this. And it was my mom that actually brought these over. Um, probably... A, Right when I started this YouTubing, I opened it up, I went right to this one, remembering that 
There's a little treasure, a little secret inside. Oh. That one was definitely a favorite for being open. Uh, it opened up, if you will. And here we go, we got a Rally Racer, number 88. Not sure the make on it, can't quite tell. Cool colors. And then we have another Army Vehicle. And it seems like everybody had army vehicles. Um, I remember as a kid, like, every one of my friends was into micro machines. It was a very, very easy uh, birthday present to get kids. And they weren't too expensive, just there was just so many to collect. And so many different things, including planes. Got a military plane here, USA F Air Force, US Air Force. And, um, unfortunately, this rocket, it fell off very early when I bought, or when I was playing with it. So it was always, like, the one rocket that shot. And then, the planes, you could have them, you know, fly, or they could sit up, like, as if they're taking off. So that's pretty cool. Alright, we'll do one more plane here. Another U.S. Air Force here. Alright guys, that's been Micro Machine Monday, or Micro Machine Monday. <laughs> it just rings off your, your, your the tip of your tongue there, uh, uh, Mr. Mom's Racing. Anyways, maybe in the comments section below. Let us know or let me know which one's your favorite out of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is it 10? Yeah, 10 cars and 2 planes. And let me know what some of your favorite micro machines were when you were a kid. And if you still have them. Also, if you're looking to get rid of some, I am definitely in the market for some cheap, bulk, uh, micro machine stuff. Anyways, thanks again for watching the Toy Table. Uh, hope, hope you guys are having a good Christmas, or had a good Christmas, as this is going to come out, I guess, two Mondays from now, so, I guess, New Year's Eve. So, tonight, um, have a great New Year's, and be safe out there, and, uh, let's keep on racing these cars, guys. Thanks a lot from the toy table.